Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Stashel and Yaps. Uh, today, we've got the Minecraft Live thing to talk about. That just happened at a time of recording, and uh, there's a couple things I want to talk about. First things first, I think this might be the shortest Minecraft Live that's yet that's happened yet, which, that's not necessarily a problem. I just want to bring that up because it feels weird to me. Like, normally this is a much longer event, whereas this was like... Basically, they just premiered a YouTube, like, a random YouTube video as opposed to it usually used to be, like, an hour, an hour and a half. It was, like, a live-streamed event. This just felt kind of, eh, lengthwise, and they didn't really debut that much. In the grand scheme of things, they, all they did was yap about things that they already, that we already knew were coming out, and then released a biome in which... All they did was reuse assets from existing things. Like, that's just another Dark Oak Forest, but the wood type is different. And the mob, kind of boring. You know, it sounds like I'm hating on it, honestly. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. The wood type is actually probably, I think it's the best part. I, I love the new, like, white wood type. Very happy with that, all things considered. Um, I think that one's actually a really good change. I'm really happy with that. Uh, probably the best thing to come out of this so far. All things considered. The biome itself feels really lazy, though. I mean, like I said, it's all it is is a reused dark oak biome. They, they took the trees, changed it a little bit, added a new type of moss. It's like, okay, well, that's hardly a biome. If, if your mob can be defeated by deforesting by deforestation like brother come on look at this land around me this was all forest like if your mobs beaten by breaking down trees that's a mob that doesn't do anything i don't know i don't even know if it even drops anything they didn't say anything that it dropped in the minecraft live as far as i saw now, maybe I missed it. It's it's possible. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I'll eat my words on that. And I'm cool with that if I was wrong. But I don't even see anything like... that. I, I didn't see anything in the trailer reveal of it dropping anything. Which is worrying to me. That we're just gonna... Are we, are we gonna have another warden incident where you've got a mob that drops nothing? Like, come on. Like, what the heck, man? Like, what's the point of a, that of the mob, then? Like, with the warden, well, it's supposed to be difficult. Okay, well, that doesn't mean you can't drop anything. And this is definitely not difficult, considering its biggest weakness is chopping down a tree. So I guess him and the Lorax are best friends, but other than that, it's pretty boring, all things considered. Only good thing to come out of that is new wood type. Which the builder in me is excited for that because I think it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna go really really well with um, diorite based builds and whatnot. I think it's gonna do really well for that. Uh, other than that, I'm not sure where it would really shine building wise. That was the first thing in my mind. Uh, as those snapshots come out, we'll probably do a stream testing those. Uh, next thing, uh, their big thing here, they're changing their update scheduling, which. Honestly, I kind of like the what they're doing now with smaller, more focused updates as opposed to big updates with everything all at once. I am a big fan of that. 100%. Because it's going back to Notch's, like, Secret Friday update model, which I think was really good for the game. And it, and it was the reason that so much got added to the game as quickly as it did, right? Like, one Friday, you're getting mine carts, red, some red new redstone components, and like a, and a wood type. And the next, and then the next week, you're getting an iron golem and whatever else, right? Like you're getting more in little bite-sized updates. Sure, they're not thematic, but if you need a theme to make something good, well, it's not a good product in the first place. And if you need something to be thematic for you enjoy it, that's a different problem in and of itself. I'm not gonna get into that but 
I like the new update model. I think it's going to be a net positive for Minecraft, having these smaller updates, because then it also means that they can focus more on quality. Um, I might have a problem with game performance, uh, being that all when you have everything together, you can make sure all of it is more cohesive with the rest of the game all at the same time. Whereas with all these smaller updates, there generally tends to be more conflicts. It's why Minecraft's rather, rather poorly optimized game, all things considered. Mind you, it's also started in 2009, so the source code's pretty outdated as well. That's also a problem there. Although, for the most part, unless you've got a literal potato that you plug things into for a computer, not going to be a big deal to all things considered. Uh, so, they already confirmed stuff we already knew. Like, Bedrock coming to... Be uh, hard for coming to Bedrock. Sure, cool idea. Might I remind you, it's the buggiest game Mojang's ever released. Like, that's... You, you're adding it to a game where, walking forward, and you just spontaneously take 20 hearts of fall damage when you were on flat ground and didn't even jump, because 20 minutes earlier that something happened in the game, that the game registered you did it when a mob or something else did it, or just thought you did it when no one did, and then boom, you die, your world's gone. Like, don't get me wrong, I... Look at me, I play hardcore. Obviously I'm pro more people getting to play hardcore. Absolutely, I am. But the game needs to be fixed first. These debilitating glitches have got to be fixed, because otherwise, hardcore is just unplayable in that sense. Completely unplayable otherwise. So, and then bundles. Congratulations. You finally got around to something you promised us like four years ago. Maybe, okay, maybe more like three and a half. Because four years ago was the nether update in 2020. And so it would have been just after that. So we'll say, we'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt, say, three and a half years ago. For all, and all things considered, it's a really, really basic as basic gets addition to the game. And it shouldn't have taken as long as it did. I don't know how it took him as long as it did, quite frankly. It's rather impressive that it took him that long. I, I don't understand how or why... I mean, Mojang gets a lot of hate for being lazy. Is that what this is? Maybe is... Who knows? I don't work at Mojang. I can't say what exactly the cause was that it took them this long to do this. But it shouldn't have. Like, plain and simply, it shouldn't have. And they've had it working fairly well in experimental editions for a good while now. Like, they had it working in snapshots when 1.17 came out, which was... Almost five versions ago now, seeing as we're looking at the doorstep of 1.22, which they didn't announce here at all, by the way, which is kind of odd. I'm, ge I'm pr probably guessing it's because they're going to the more weekly update format, or the more... I shouldn't say weekly update, it's not going to be weekly. It's going to the notch model, we'll say, of updates. And I'm sure it doesn't mean there won't be big updates like 1.22. Like, Notch still did really big game updates, but he also did smaller weekly stuff to fix the game. And other things like that. Which I'm hoping this mean, this might mean that bug fixes are going to come to the game faster, which I'm all for. That sounds great to me if bug fixes happen faster. As someone who plays this game quite frequently and as for a living-ish... You know, I kind of like that the thing that I'm playing for a living actually works, right? Like, that is a definitely a net positive if they use this as a way to introduce bug fixes faster. I'm totally cool with that. Absolutely. Um, on that note, with um, bundles and up weekly updates and whatnot, I mean, we'll see how it goes, right? It, it's hard to really say what's going to happen here. And uh, not uh, not announcing a big update probably has to do with that. The... I, I mean, the lack of it is kind of disappointing. Because it's, you haven't switched to that model yet. So, I'd, I mean, I'd think you'd stick to what you've been doing until you make the change, right? 
not change and then not change models in the middle of whatever it is that you're doing, right now, which is, seems like not a lot. Mojang's known for being kind of lazy. Are they? Who knows? But, like, this seems like a really weird time to be making the changes that they're making, especially in the middle of an update. Everyone's expecting 1.22 announcements, and then we get nothing, and it's basically radio silence in a really short and very uninformative Minecraft Live. And mo it was like, I don't know, it was like 30-ish, 30 minutes, maybe 35. But you know what they really made sure to yap about? The Minecraft movie, which we all know is going to be terrible. I've already done a video on it. If you haven't watched it, go watch it, please. Uh, pause this video and come back. So, uh, I did another Stashlin Yaps. It's, uh, it's probably in the playlist if you're watching this somewhere. So, you can definitely find it pretty easily. So, of course, they have to talk about that dumpster fire of a project that's just absolutely awful and uh the context of the double bucket crafting scene is now i i hate it even more like it makes the trailer worse now that to realize that it was jason momoa's character's bravado and i'm i can do this i would something about being cool in video gaming in the 80s th that's the character arc of the entire character yikes that's incredibly disappointing incredibly disappointing i am i did i was already not optimistic for this movie i'm even less optimistic now than i was then and it's this movie continually seems to be getting worse which i'm not surprised definitely unhappy definitely disappointed could be a hell of a lot better than what it is mojang and I think it was Jared Hess, I think his name was, who did this. Um, I, you could have done a lot better there, but could have done a lot better. And I'm going to get hate for that because by like Jack Black or somebody who's already been hating on people for, well, I can't say hating on, who's really been clapping back about all the hate the movie's been getting. Make a good movie, please. And then people will stop hating, you know? I mean, I made the joke earlier, and uh, if you don't, if you don't know, uh, DJ Shark, he streams on Twitch. He's a friend of mine, and he was uh, reacting to it live. I was in his chat while he was doing that. Um, go check him out; he's great. He's been on a couple of these podcast episodes, yapping with me. So I do go show him some love and support. He's a cool guy. Uh, I was in his stream while watching it, and I made the joke that I think the only thing they kept from the movie is the fact that there's plants, like grass. Pretty sure that's the only thing that correlates between the game and the movie in all honesty so that was the majority of minecraft live was just them hyping up this garbage movie which is disappointing to say the least and beyond insulting and irritating to say what i really think should be said you're i mean it, it feels like it's an insult to the fans to be making this project and not actually give it the time and quality checks that it deserves that there was no quality control done for this project in any way and it's disappointing super disappointing i am very unhappy um yeah then i mean i don't what else is there to say this was a really lackluster it was this was all around lackluster there was a couple of okay points which would serve as highlights being the biome and all with the new wood type if if the wood type is your strongest claim to this is going to be a big update and it's going to be a good update you know this is a, a good announcement or whatever it's like that's just disappointing and depressing um i think that's everything i wanted to say honestly Yeah, I think that's all. Uh, thanks for listening to me yap about this for as long as I did. Uh, remember, during the month of September, if you use code STASHLIN at checkout, while uh, you get WENERGY.com getting your supplements, uh, make sure you use code STASH. Make sure you use code STASHLIN at checkout. That's uh, all caps. There you go. That's how you spell it. All right. Bye, guys.